Let's start what's probably going to be the most difficult topic of the year, which is learning the rules of debits and credits. So if we can learn this good now and learn the fundamentals, it will be fine for the rest of the year. So we want to take our time and stop this video, rewind it, pause it, go back and watch it again, um, because we're going to kind of summarize everything that we know so far. So what we know is that when processing a transaction, how do you know what's a debit and what's a credit? So every account, every asset, liability, owners, equity, revenue, and expense will have a ledger. That's a big T like this. And on the left hand side, that'll be the debit side. And on the right hand side will be the credit side. So how do we know what's a debit and what's a credit? Well, when we think about it, it all comes down to the balance sheet. And we know the balance sheet. We've done the balance sheet in a previous chapter. What do we know about the balance sheet? Well, we also know the balance sheet is kind of a big T as well. And on the left hand side, we have assets. I know we do have current and non-current, but for the sake of this, we're just going to forget that and just say there's assets. And on the right hand side, we have liabilities and known as equity. So what we know with the balance sheet is we say, well, this side here is actually called the asset side, the left hand side, and the right hand side is called the equity side. And what we also know is that there's a little thing called the accounting equation. So what we know is that every time an asset, um, or we know that assets must always equal liabilities plus owner's equity. So what we've now got is some rules. So we're going to say, let's say we got an asset today, that would be an asset going up. Well, that would be a debit. So here's our debits and credits for assets. So we'll say assets will go up on the debit side. Now on this side, we've got liabilities and known as equity. So it makes sense if they go up, then that must be a credit for both of those. So we've got assets here will go up on the debit side, just like on the balance sheet, they would go up on the left hand side. And liabilities and known as equities will be the opposite. And when you think about that, the opposite then must be true. So assets must go down on the credit side and liabilities and known as equity must go down on the debit side. And basically what that comes down to is this. We learn another thing called the accounting equation. We know that assets must always equal liabilities plus owner's equity. So it makes sense that if assets go up on the debit side, so assets, let's see it here, must always equal liabilities plus owner's equity. So what have we learned from that? Well, assets go up on the debit side, on the left hand side, just like they would in the balance sheet. And therefore, the opposite of that must be true for li liabilities and owners' equities, because assets must always equal these two. So we've learned our first few rules. But we also need to learn some more rules. We need to learn a rule for negative owners' equity. So it makes sense here, if owners' equity goes up on the credit side, well, negative owners' equity must go up on the debit side. And therefore, it must go down on the credit side. What do we know about revenues? Well, when we learned the definition of a revenue, the definition of a revenue was that it increased owners' equity. So if owner's equity goes up on the credit side, well, so must a revenue, and it must go down on the debit side. An expense, we learn that the definition of that is it decreases owner's equity. So if owner's equity decreases on this side, well, then an asset must increase on this side. And then we fill in the blanks. We say the opposite of a revenue going up, is it going down here? And the opposite of an expense going up on the debit side is it goes down on the credit side. So that's all the rules. And there is absolutely no way you could look at that and watch this video and go, I've got it, I completely understand. All we're trying to do now is just say they are the rules, okay? Why um, and how and how do we process transactions? We're gonna learn that in more videos coming up. But for now, we just wanna know these are the rules. We wanted to know what are the rules to tell me when there's a debit and when there's a credit. Well, it's based on what type of account we've got. Is it an asset, a liability, an owner's equity, negative owner's equity, revenue and expense? And then we go, is it going up or down? Well, we just look at our rules. So we've got up for assets here, uh, and it goes down on the credit side and likewise every account will have its own rule so we don't expect you to know that right now we just want to say well there's all the rules so that let's now explore them one at a time and go through the rules for assets liabilities and owners equities